what's up everybody Tito here with Aloha Android how you guys doing today um, if you guys didn't check out the video on how to install Torp recovery I suggest you do uh, so go check that video out before going on to this one but in this video we're going to be installing the stock DLDX ROM for the ZTE warp sync for boost mobile aka the N9515 so make sure that you know everything matches up with what I'm saying here so you have the right phone before doing this also disclaimer uh, I'm showing you guys how to do this, but in no way am I saying that you guys have to do this. So if you are going to flash this ROM, you're going to be doing so at your own risk. I am not responsible if you brick your device. So let's just get that out the way. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be installing the stock DLDX ROM. Now if you're wondering what that means, basically um, all Android devices with the stock operating system the files in the system files or system applications basically have two different files if you've noticed when you root your phone you look you'll see that there is an APK file and an ODEX file well what developers do is they pretty much they go through it to um, zip it all up basically and, and get rid of that ODEX file putting it all together and just basically in one APK file so it frees up some space uh, makes the phone run a little bit more faster than what it does so DODEX zip aligns uh, your phone should be a little bit more speedier than usual. So, that's what we're going to be flashing into our phone. Thank you to Super R for doing this. Uh, great developer. Uh, big props to him actually taking on the little devices out there and not sticking to just flagships. So, as you guys are seeing in the video right now, I'm beginning to install the stock ROM using port recovery. And you, yes, you have to be rooted and you need the port recovery in there. This phone does have a uh, lock bootloader. I was going to say block. A lock bootloader. So therefore, um, yeah, it was pretty hard to get this thing done. But while most people would complain and say that it took too long, at least it's here now. So if you own this device and this is your daily driver, yes, you're going to get some good development on it. I can see some good stuff happening in the future as long as developers stick with this device. As we're waiting for it to install, basically it's going to go through its spill. Also, if you do in, uh, try to install this ROM and you do get like a signature error, that's not a big problem. Just go into the settings for Torque Recovery, go into settings, turn off signature verification, and you should be good to go. Hit install, boom, it should go. Also, make sure you, you wipe and factory reset before doing this. Um, that way, the, the first initial boot should be fine. The first boot up is going to take a while. Let me let you guys know that right now. And the boost animation is pretty much gone. So, um, right now, I'm going to reboot the phone and log into all my stuff, and then we'll carry it on from there. comes with Super SU, so make sure you do update the binaries as well. So yeah, basically, um, that's pretty much all of it in a nutshell. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up, let me know. Share this video on all your social networks and follow me on my social networks. Links are in the description to follow me. Um, and if you have not subscribed, please do so. Click that subscribe button for more videos like this and tutorials in the future. Um, I had a great time making this, guys. Super excited today. So anyways, um, my name is Tito with Aloha Android, and I am signing out. Thank you guys for watching.